Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, we're going to be revisiting our good old friend here, the Xbox 360, because I'm going to be showing you all something that is a little similar to a video I've done before. However, this does help to back up and archive your own digital content that you have purchased on your system, and of course that is even more important after the shutdown of the Xbox 360 marketplace or the digital storefront on there. But I'm going to be showing you all if you have games on demand digital titles, how you can back them up and properly play them on a RGH or JTAG modified system. Now it is similar to something I've covered here which is XM360 and for anybody who might be wondering with that, XM360 is going to specifically be for unlocking Xbox Live Arcade content as well as downloadable content. So a game such as let's say Sonic CD or Sonic 2, these games or even the Maw would count as Xbox Live Arcade games or if you had any DLC, that's what XM360 would be for, and I have a full video covering that. This here, however, is going to be for games on demand titles or digitally released games, like a full game in that type of form factor. An example of this might be, for example, Brothers in Arms Howl's Highway or Gears of War 2. If you own games like this digitally and you try to play them on your RGH and they don't work, I'm going to show you how you can unlock them to have them work. So you're going to need a few things to get started here. First of all, you will need, uh, assuming you have two systems here, a couple of Xbox 360s. One of them is going to be a hard modded one, such as this, which this is going to be the target system we're going to try and play our games on and have them backed up. And you're also going to need to have your retail system so you can get online and get the content from your account that you want to transfer over and back up and play. Now I feel like that setup will be more attainable for people, but it's not just exclusive for that. If you have a dual NAND system, for example, you can just switch between your NANDs and you should be okay. Or if you have one system where, for example, you have a RGH that you are taking online using a stealth server, I personally don't do that, but you could do that all on one system. Either way, you will need a way to access your digital content from your gamer tag and get it onto a RGH system. And if you're using two systems, I'd also recommend having a USB drive on hand for the transfer between systems. And we're also going to need a computer in order to download and use an application that will be able to unlock everything, similar to XM360. With all that being said here, let's go ahead and move off our RGH and over to our retail system. So now that we're over at the retail side, I'm going to go ahead and grab a game that I already have installed. So I'll go into my games here, and as you can see, I have several games that I've either installed or digitally downloaded. And the game that I decided I'm going to do this on will be Dragon Age Origins. Now I can go ahead, enter this game here, fire it up, it seems to work just fine, and again, this is on my retail system here using the account that this game was purchased on, but we are wanting to transfer this over to our RGH system or our hard modded system, whichever one we're going to be using. And to clarify again what I said before, this method I'm going to be showing you all is not going to be for arcade titles such as this or even indie games. It's going to be for full games like this, which have been purchased digitally and downloaded to your system, such as, like I said, my copy of Dragon Age Origins. The way I'm going to be doing this is using a flash drive, so in order to navigate to our settings, you'll need to go over to the guide itself, go over to system settings, then you can go into storage. And from here, I'm going to hook up a USB drive that I have. For this, I'm going to use a 32 gigabyte flash drive. Now, once it has been connected, it might show up as something like this, which is unformatted. Now, I am going to wipe the data on this, so do keep in mind, if you're going to format this on your console, it is the easier thing to do, but it is going to destroy all data on the USB drive. So make sure you hook it up to a computer, back up any data you care about, and you're okay with any data on here being wiped. Since I'm okay with that, I'm going to go to my unformatted drive, go to format, say yes, and it's now going to format it to FAT32 and MBR, which should work fine with the system and our computer. Once that's been formatted, we do have all that storage available. So in order to copy this game over, I'm going to go to the hard drive, go to games and apps. Let me go ahead and look for Dragon Age. Here we go, Dragon Age Origins. You can come in here, and from here, you can go ahead and copy any of the data you want to. So for example, if you have an autosave, you can go ahead and pull that. Since I don't care about my save data on here, I just want the game itself. So I'm going to come over to the game, hit copy, and I'm going to copy it into my USB storage device right here. 
Now do keep in mind, USB flash drives are going to vary in speed depending on what you're using. And this here is a six and a half gigabyte game that I'm transferring over. So it could take several minutes here. Just go ahead and give it time to copy over. All right, and as you can see, we were able to wrap that up. So once that's been copied over, you can copy over any other games you'd like to, but that's the only game I want to copy over in this instance. So it looks like we're good at that point. Now, before we leave the retail system, some people might be wondering where they can find their digital games that they own, but they do not have downloaded. Well, in case you have a game you want to back up that you don't have downloaded, you will need to pull it from your download history. In order to do this, you can bring up the guide, go over to settings, go over to account management, and then within account management, you can go to your download history. And once your download history loads up, from here, you can pick a game that you want to download. For example, if I want to get to human, you can tap the A button on here, and then you can re-download it to your account before transferring it to your USB drive. I'm not going to be doing this with two humans since I already have a game, but that is how you can pull your downloads in case you do not have them on hand. However, once you have the content downloaded that you want to unlock, we're next going to need an application which we'll need to download on our PC. So in order to do this here, I'm going to go ahead, turn off the console, remove the USB drive from the 360, and connect it over to your PC. We're going to be using one application for this, which is called God Unlocker or God Unlocker XB360 from Byram90. So this here, as you can see, is a simple application to unlock Xbox 360 games on demand package files. This will allow them to boot on any modified JTAG RGH console. And in order to download this, you can go over to the releases section and then download the latest zip archive that you can find. From here, make sure you have the God Unlocker zip downloaded and you've plugged a USB drive into your computer. When you get this zip file, you can just right click this and extract it using something such as 7-zip, which should generate its own folder right here with the God Unlocker. If you open it up, it should just have the default.executable in there. And from here, we can copy this over to our USB drive. So go ahead, grab the God Unlocker folder, right click, copy it out, go into the USB drive here, mine is USB disk, and right click and paste it anywhere onto the USB drive as long as it can be accessed. Once it's been copied over, that should be all we need. So from this, we can go back here, right click, eject our USB drive, and navigate over to our hard modded system. That's where you're going to need to plug the drive into now. Once you're over at your hard modded system, go ahead and plug in your USB drive, and now let's get that games on demand title transferred over. For this, if you're using something such as Aurora, we can go through the file manager itself. You can press the back button here, go to the file manager, Go down to the USB drive, mine is USB 1, and I'm going to navigate to the content directory, the zeros directory, and right here you can see that thankfully Aurora does show which game it is, which is Dragon Age Origins. I'm going to tap the X button on here to select this, navigate over to the left, go down to copy, tap the A button, and as you can see it's now queued this up to copy. Now I'm going to tap the right bumper go to HDD1 so I can transfer this to my internal drive, go into content, the zeros directory, and inside of here, navigate back to the left, go down to paste, say yes, and now it's going to copy this game over to our internal drive. Again, just give it some time. So with that copy completed, we can go ahead and exit out of here, and if you need to refresh your games, you can certainly do that as well by going into the settings by pressing the start button, go over to content. From here, make sure you've got your content and zero path added, and then you can hit scan now, and it should be able to add that game into Aurora. And it took a few seconds, but as you can see, it is right here showing up without any issue. Now here is the issue that we're going to be resolving. As you can see, it is showing up just fine. There's no issue on the case or anything else here. Everything downloaded properly. But if you try to play the actual game, well, absolutely nothing happens. And that is because we have to actually unlock this game for it to work on our hard modded system. To do this, we can hit back. Now press the back button on your controller, go to the file manager, Go down to your USB drive and find the God Unlocker application that we downloaded. Tap the A button and launch the default executable. Now as you can see, it launches pretty quickly and it gives you a few options right here. It also explains how this is utilized, so I would recommend you give this a read just to check it out and make sure you understand it. But we can unlock all God titles, fix and unlock Microsoft spoofed God titles, and unlock bundle downloaders. Since we're going to be unlocking a God title, as that's pretty simple, I'm just going to tap the A button to do that, 
And as you can see, it was able to unlock my Dragon Age Origins, as well as several other games that are on here. It also, as you can see, it creates a backup folder within each title. So in case you do need to backup and restore any of the older original files, you can always do that. But once that's done, you can hit any key to exit and wait for Aurora to load back in. And once this has loaded back in, we can now navigate back over to our game. Here is Dragon Age Origins. I'm now going to tap the A button right here, give it a few moments, and as you can see, here we go. This game is now able to launch properly. So that's about all there is to it. Thankfully, this worked out pretty well for us. And now, like I said, you can now take your digital content that you own, as long as these are games on demand games in this instance here, you can take that digital content, back it up yourself, and then unlock it to be able to play it and always be able to access it on a hard modded Xbox 360. And you can see right here, just to make sure this was working, I'll go ahead, you know, I'll just save onto the hard drive itself, that's fine. But we were able to get to the main menu here and this was able to work properly. So again, we went from not being able to play this game to it loading up and working on here and launching. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Aurora here. Now as a final step for cleanup, do keep in mind that when you do this here, due to the backups that it makes, you might have a auto scan that will run and it's going to end up duplicating several games. For example, as you can see here, my Dragon Age Origins has been duplicated and there's a few others such as my Wolfenstein The New Order discs have also been duplicated right here. So you might need to do a little bit of cleanup. I know for sure this one works, but this one here doesn't. And I can test that just by tapping A, and as you can see, it doesn't load in. So if you want to get rid of that here, you would technically be getting rid of the backup file. So you have a couple options. You can tap the Y button right here and go down to the rename option. But then if you navigate to the left, you can either hide this, or if you navigate all the way over to the left, you can hit the delete option. So if you still want to keep that backup, you can just hide this title. But if you want to delete it out and you're sure that's what you want to do, you could also just delete this here. As you can see, it is pointing towards that backup to delete. I'll say yes. And now just to double check this, I've now deleted the backup. I only have one copy of Dragon Age Origins, but if I tap the A button on here, Check it out, just like before, it is able to launch. As you can see, give it a few seconds, and we were able to launch into this game yet again, and it is working as intended, just like I was showing before. And we were able to reduce that redundancy, whether you hit it or deleted it is up to you. Either way, that is about it for this video here. I do hope this helped out, and I do hope you can get some enjoyment and fun out of this. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.